Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jojo Palacio and on this channel, we talk about all things beauty. Today we are here to talk about yet another complexion item, which is the, the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 25. I'm actually wearing it now and you're gonna see me go through this everyday tutorial just to kinda check this out and review it, but so far, We'll just let you watch the tutorial to see what I think about it. Before we get started on the tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. On this channel, we have goals to get to 1,000 subscribers by 2021. We've been doing that thanks to you guys by liking, sharing, commenting, and letting YouTube know that this is a content that you want to see. I am so grateful, guys. Thank you so much, and I know that we can do it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday of the week. Content is like this, everyday tutorials, glam tutorials. We talk about skincare. We go into esthetician talk. We talk about business and being an entrepreneur. So I hope that you guys will subscribe to my channel and get me to 1,000 subscribers by 2021. So let's get into this everyday review of the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. Not starting, we're trying out a new foundation, duh. Um, let me put some lip gloss on. It is so nice out. The weather is just beautiful, but I need some chapstick because my lips are chap chapped. Ooh. This is the Sol de Janeiro, um, what's it called? It's like a chapstick. It's a teeny bikini is what this is called. It's got a little bit of tint to it, but not too much. So I can still wear it, you know? Um, all right. So hair is back. Planning on doing something with that later, but let's get prepped. So we're using a new complexion item. This is the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. So this is the item right here. I really have heard a lot of good reviews on this. I got it in the shade Medium Tan. This is a ultra lightweight tinted moisturizer that is also infused with a primer so it lasts all day. It primes and moisturizes, perfects and protects all in one. There is SPF of 25 in here, as well as, I was trying to get more out of it, but that's it. So we're gonna shake it well per the instructions. We're gonna start with complexion, just so that we can speed this up, because I'm going to work today. I'm gonna go work at Sephora today during the week, which is really weird, but I had some openings in the week, and I thought, why not? Um, face is prepped already. I didn't realize this was already a moisturizer and a primer, but I did put on my skincare routine. If you guys want a detailed skincare routine, I will try to link it, my old one, but I also want to film a new one. So be on the lookout for that. Let's see. All right. So this is about as much as I'm picking up on the back of my hand. I'm going to work that in using a JH03 brush, which is my favorite complexion. It has a weird texture. Don't know that I like it. I haven't tanned yet this week, so it looks a little dark, but we'll fix it. I don't know if I love this, guys. I'm gonna be very honest with you. I have my YSL Touche Clot that I love, but this is very, very different. It is literally staining, but not covering, which is weird. So, not gonna get the coverage from this, but I'm hoping that we get it from our concealer routine. So, just gotta make sure it looks even because it looks a little weird. I'm just gonna work this all the way down the neck. If I were super tan right now, this would work, but I think it's I'm a little too pale. I should probably should probably get to work it on my tan. All right, so by the guess of that tinted moisturizer, we're going for an everyday look today. I had quite a video editing to do this morning, so I kind of ran out of time for anything glam, but that's okay because we've got a lot of glam going on so far for the fall and I feel like a simple fall tutorial for every day is appropriate. So I'm gonna use my Clinique Even Better Concealer just to help me conceal some areas that I don't feel like were concealed by the tinted moisturizer. A little blemish going on right there. There was another one here somewhere. So we're just gonna reinforce those areas and make sure we're covered. I really like a tinted moisturizer for every day. It's perfect for even vacation days, but I don't know. I don't like the way that this one went on. We'll see how it wears. I'm having to put on a little more concealer than I would normally because of the fact that this did not cover as much as I thought. So don't mind me. This is not what you would do when you are <laughs> trying to do it every day, but I'm going to work at Sephora and I do want a little more coverage than what this is giving me. Again, I don't, I don't know, I don't love it. Okay, so I'm gonna 
set because it's definitely too glowy for my preference. I'm going to set using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade number two. I'm going to pick it up with a fluffy brush and I'm honestly just going to set everything. I have reunited with the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt and Mean Money and Hustler Baby. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe a little bit of that on the hypo points of my face just to give myself some glow. So pretty. This is a very natural looking tinted moisturizer. I just don't like the way that it went on. So far right now with everything that I'm putting over it, it looks okay. Like my skin literally looks like skin. Don't get me wrong. It just felt weird going on. Maybe I should try a different brush. For bronzer, just to keep up with the glowiness, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I haven't used this on my channel in a minute, but it's a really pretty bronzer. I'm just gonna kinda add some color to the cheekbones, to the forehead. Not that it needs it, because this was a pretty tan product, but just to give myself a little more dimension. What do we think so far, my natural everyday girls? Do we like it? Comment down below and, and tell me if you will like it. Because maybe I'm just wanting a little more today and I lied to myself saying that I wanted a natural glam. But I truly just didn't give myself enough time. So, um, okay. Let's do a little bit of blush moment. I'm going to give this guy another try. This is the Rare Beauty Blush in Grace. What I want to do is take the end of my Hank and Henry sponge, pick it up, warm it up on the back of my hand, and then go into my cheek. All right, guys, so let me go do my hair real quick. Let me zhuzh up a little bit, and then I will be back to talk about what lip options we did for our everyday look and what I think about this guy, the Smashbox Halo All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. All right, guys, I ran some curls through my hair. This is the finished look right here. It is a simple, everyday fall glam look. I don't even wanna say fall, just everyday, quick and easy for work. So this is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm in the shade Blush that I put on my lips just to kind of top it off and give my a little glow, but not something that looks like makeup. You know, this is that no makeup makeup type of moment. And I really, I like it overall. I want to see how it wears. Again, this was really to try out the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. I like the coverage on this guy. I didn't like how it applied, but I have to try applying it differently. However, now that I have my concealer, my setting powder, my blush and highlight, I am okay with the way my complexion looks. So overall, first impressions is going to be a yes. Um, I'll tell you guys later how I feel about it as it wore through the day. So that's it for this tutorial. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's just a quick click away. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday of the week, and it's all about beauty. So I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bless you.